Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression for you and that is why I'm not wearing any foundation on my face right now. Now I recently got this giant and very generous goodie bag from Too Faced that contains all of the brand new Born This Way foundation so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to do a review and first impression for you guys and let you guys know my thoughts on this very hyped up foundation. So how this first impression is going to work, I'm going to apply this foundation live on camera and I'm going to let you guys know my first impressions and thoughts on it. Then a few hours later I'm going to come back and let you guys know my final thoughts and I will let you know if I would recommend it or not so that you will have a good idea of whether or not you want to purchase it. So let's get down to like the nitty gritty and let me tell you a little bit about the foundation. So the foundations come in 12 shades. And when I look at the shades like offhand, I could see that there are not a lot of deeper shades and there are definitely not a lot of very, very pale shades. But I did read though on the Too Faced website that they are coming out with six new shades in fall 2015 that are a lot darker and that are a lot lighter. So if your skin tone is not fitting within this shade range, do not worry because you'll probably be able to get your shade when they release the new shades in fall 2015. So this is the lightest shade. This is called Porcelain and this is the darkest shade in the current collection. This is Caramel. So this is the lightest shade in the current collection, Porcelain, and the darkest shade in the current collection called Caramel just to give you an idea. So let's get into the actual product. So this is what the bottle looks like. It comes in a really pretty frosted bottle with a black top and a pump. There is one fluid ounce in here, which is pretty standard for foundations. And I think it looks like a really nice, luxurious foundation. And it actually reminds me a lot of the Giorgio Armani packaging. It just has that same look to it, which I think is nice. So as for the claims, I'm going to be reading it right off of the thing that Too Faced included in this package. The Born This Way Foundation is an undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. It is oil free and it is infused with coconut water which helps to delicately replenish skin's moisture levels, alpine rose to brighten skin's appearance and promote elasticity, hyaluronic acid for a smoother and more youthful appearance. So basically this foundation is supposed to be medium to full coverage but it is supposed to be basically undetectable on the skin. So we shall see if those claims are true. So as for my personal shade, I'm going to try out Warm Nude because in the bottle I feel like it may match my skin. So let's just test this out and see. Yeah, Warm Nude looks like it's going to be a pretty good match for my skin, so let's try this one out. Okay, so as for my skin type, I do have pretty dry and dehydrated skin, and my skin is also quite sensitive. I do not have oily skin whatsoever, so this is going to be my experience based on the type of skin that I have. Alright, let's do this. I'm not going to put on any primer because I do not want to alter the wear of the foundation. So instead, I'm just going to put on some moisturizer because that is what I always do, no matter what. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of my Ombre Release Milk Cream Concentrate all over my skin. So to apply the foundation today, I'm going to be using my Zoeva number 102 Silk Finish Brush. I've been really enjoying this foundation brush. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to shake this up a little bit and start applying it to my face. So I'm basically just going to start to squeeze some of this onto my face so I don't waste any product. So let's just blend that in and see where that goes. So I'm going to take my brush and start blending that into my skin in downward motions. So I can tell right away that it is covering up my redness really nicely, very easily as well. And it looks really hydrating on the skin. So this looks really nice so far. I find that it's covering up all the redness that I have on my skin very easily. Coverage is really, really nice. And the color match is perfect as well. This is like I said, warm nude. For a reference, I'm about a MAC NC 20 to 25. So now that we have the foundation applied, let's inspect the face. Now I currently have some dry patches on my nose as well as on my chin. My chin as well as my nose look good. It does not look extra dry or anything. The foundation seems to be sitting on top of my dry patches really nicely. As far as the foundation being undetectable, I would have to disagree with that. I definitely see that I'm wearing foundation on my skin, but it does look really, really really nice. I find that the only foundations that are truly undetectable on the skin are like BB creams or tinted moisturizers or like water-based foundations like the MAC Face and Body or the Makeup Forever Face and Body or the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua, but something that's medium to full coverage like this, you are going to see it a little bit. I feel like saying that a foundation is undetectable is quite a big claim, but I definitely see it on my skin, but it looks really, really nice. Like my skin looks really nice and hydrated and it doesn't look dry whatsoever and it just looks healthy. So I'm really enjoying the way 
that it is looking right now. And like I said, it covered up all of my redness super easy, so I'm really impressed with the coverage. I really do not feel like I need to apply a second layer whatsoever. So I like that I didn't have to apply a ton of foundation to get that really nice medium to full coverage. As far as how it feels on my skin, it actually feels really nice. I'm not able to feel it at all, which is always a huge plus for me. As for the finish, it's not a dewy finish. It's definitely not a matte finish at all. I would say it's like a natural satin finish. My skin definitely still has a pretty sheen to it, but it is not like exceptionally glowy or super matte at all. So it's like right in between. And that's like my favorite type of foundation. So, so far I'm really, really liking this and I'm super impressed. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. I'm actually going to be filming a tutorial. Um, as far as like powders and stuff that I'm going to be putting on top, I'm not going to set my skin with powder. I never do because my skin is very dry, but I will be setting the concealer underneath my eyes. Just to let you guys know, so the next time that I'm going to check in should be in about like an hour from now, so it'll give you a good idea of how the foundation is holding up. So far, big thumbs Alright guys, so it's been about two hours since applying the foundation, so it definitely has settled into my skin. And I gotta say that it looks really, really great right now. Um, it looks a little bit dry and cakey around like my nose area. It's sort of like built up around that area. Um, but everywhere else, everything looks really, really nice. Um, I don't have any other issues. The only other thing is it's starting to look a little bit dry right on top of my nose, but my nose is really dry, so that is probably why. Um, but yeah, the only problem I have is like the caking up right around my nose area, but that's really not that big of a deal. I could easily fix that with like a sponge or a brush or even my hey finger. guys, I am editing right now and all I want to do is rip off my lashes, but I am not because of this first impression. So that is how much I love you. Time to give you guys a little bit of an update on the foundation. It's been about four hours. The last time I checked in was I think at like the two hour mark. Foundation is looking amazing. I really, really like it. Let's go directly into the sunlight so that you can see. Okay, <laughs> this is awkward. But you can see the foundation is looking really, really good. For a girl with dry skin, I am really enjoying the slight dew that I'm seeing on my face right now. The foundation actually feels so moisturizing on the skin and I have found it to be super comfortable. I am not the type of person who likes to wear medium to full coverage foundations because I just do not like the way they feel on my skin. But this one feels like unbelievably lightweight, so I'm really impressed with it. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. It's looking really, really good. Like I'm super, super impressed. All right, so I'm just gonna keep this on for probably about another two hours. I think I'm going to finish it around the six hour mark. So I will see you guys then. All right guys, so I'm back for my final check-in. It has been probably around six hours. I am dying to rip these lashes off. I almost did it, but I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna look crazy once I go back on camera. But I put this foundation on at around eight o'clock this morning. It is right now 2.40. Um, so this foundation has been on my face for about six hours and I feel like that's like a pretty normal wear time. You could definitely wear this more considering how great this foundation looks. So I really, really like this foundation a lot. There are a few things that I want to mention. When I just look at my face from far away, it looks really good. It looks just as good as it did as, as when I applied it at 8 o'clock in the morning, which is always an amazing sign. So it's very long wearing and it definitely has not settled a lot into the lines of my face, which I find a lot of foundations do, especially in my smile lines right over here. I have very like pronounced smile lines. So foundations usually like crack and settle in that area. Now it definitely has settled just a little bit, but it is not as pronounced as some other foundations usually are. As far as like the dry patches on my skin, like on my chin and as well as my nose area, it has rubbed off a tiny, tiny bit right on my chin and a tiny, tiny bit right on my nose area and it looks like a little bit dry, but I feel like any foundation that I'm going to use, that is going to happen. I just want to say again that I really don't find that this foundation is undetectable. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the only foundations that are truly undetectable for me are like tinted moisturizers and BB creams and things like that. Whereas this, it definitely looks like I'm wearing makeup, but my makeup looks fresh and it looks flawless and my skin almost looks airbrushed. And all of the powders that I did apply up on top of my skin, like my highlight, my blush, my bronzer, has stayed really really nicely on top of this foundation like you could see my highlight is still going very very strong after almost six hours so I'm really impressed with this foundation and I'm actually very happy with it I think if you have dry skin you would really really like this foundation it feels so hydrating on the skin I do know that people with oily skin do really like this foundation I would just recommend definitely setting it with a powder if you do have oily skin just to make sure that everything is locked and loaded overall would I recommend this foundation I would have to say 
yes, I really, really like it, and I'm definitely going to start using this a ton, especially when I go out at night and when I want a little bit more coverage. This is definitely going to be my new go-to. So that is it. I really hope you guys enjoy this first impression. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought, and of course, give this video a big thumbs up if you like these types of videos, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And that is pretty much it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hi.